Are you looking for some really quick lunch ideas? Well, if so, this video is for you. Jennifer here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you school lunch ideas that are super fast. These lunches can be put together in about five minutes or less. They are super, super tasty and perfect when you're short on time. Now, if this is the first video you're seeing from me, then welcome. I'm so happy you clicked on this video. On this channel, I share all things related to family, food, and fun. And I especially love sharing fun lunch ideas. So if that's something that you are interested in, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. And now you guys, let's get on to some super quick and tasty lunches. Now this first lunch I'm going to be making for my son Jackson and for him I'm making a buffalo chicken wrap. Now to keep this quick and easy I'm using some canned chicken, but if you had some leftover chicken that would work perfectly too. So I'm just going to drain this chicken and get it into the bowl. Now I'm just going to break up the chunks just a little bit. And then comes the buffalo sauce. Now my son Jackson likes things a little bit spicy but not over the top. So I'm using this kind. It's nice and mild. And I'm just using one tablespoon to start off with. Next I'm adding one tablespoon or so of ranch dressing. The combination of the buffalo sauce and the ranch is so tasty and it's really not spicy at all. Now for some added crunch in this chicken salad, I'm going to very quickly dice up some celery. I'm going to get that into the bowl. And you guys, if you had almonds, that would be delicious in here as well, but I don't have any so I'm skipping that. I'm just going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper and then mix it all up. And you guys, at this point, you can go ahead and give this a taste. If it needs a little bit more sauce or maybe a little bit more seasoning, you can add that in as well. Now to Jackson's tortilla, I'm going to add a few pieces of lettuce. This wrap is going to be fresh and crispy and delicious. I'm adding plenty of the chicken salad in here. And then I'm going to top it with just a little drizzle of buffalo sauce. Now I'm just going to wrap this up as tightly as I can. And I always think it looks fancier to cut it on the diagonal. But you guys, I do like to add a couple of food picks in there as well, just to make sure they don't unravel in the lunchbox. For Jackson's fruit, I'm gonna go ahead and peel a little mandarin orange. And to go with the orange, I'm also adding a few blueberries. Now on the side, I do wanna go ahead and add more celery. Celery is such a good combination with buffalo chicken. And since this is Jackson's lunch, I'm also adding a few cherry tomatoes as well. To finish off this lunch, I'm also adding in a baby bell cheese and a blueberry fig bar. Next up, I'm making a lunch for Lily. And for her, I'm making kind of a copycat Starbucks PB&J box. Now, just like the real thing at Starbucks, I'm going to start this lunch with some honey wheat bread. And to this, I'm just adding some peanut butter and strawberry jelly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and add it into the lunch box, but I do wanna leave a little bit of space for the sweet treat, which is to come in a minute. Now moving on to the fruit, and just like at Starbucks, I'm gonna be adding in some apple slices, but to make them a little bit cuter, I'm using my crinkle cutter. And to make sure they don't turn brown, I'm actually gonna squeeze a little bit of the mandarin orange juice on top, only because I don't have any lemons. Next, for the veggie, I'm adding in some baby carrots. I love using baby carrots for quick and easy lunches because they don't need to be chopped, they're ready to go. On the side, I'm definitely gonna be adding in some ranch. 
And then usually at Starbucks, you'll also get a string cheese with this lunch. But instead of just throwing it in whole like this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it up into four pieces. Then I'm going to add them to a couple of skewers to make them a little bit more special. And then you guys, last but not least, at Starbucks, this normally comes with chocolate covered raisins, but I know that my daughter Lily will definitely prefer these strawberry yogurt raisins instead. So I'm just going to pour them right in here. On the side, I'm also gonna offer Lily some of these snowman cheese balls. And I'm also gonna throw in a strawberry oatmeal crumble bar. Next up, I'm making a lunch for my son, Griffin. And for his main course, I'm going to be making some meat and cheese roll-ups. These are super quick and super easy. For this, I'm just using a couple of slices of turkey and a couple of slices of ham. And I'm also using some cheese sticks. I have two different kinds. And then all you have to do is literally wrap the meat around the cheese like this. And then to get these to fit better in his lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half. To keep them from unrolling in the lunchbox and to make them easier to pick up, I'm gonna be adding these cute little animal picks right in here. fruit of this lunch, I decided to go with some canned mango. This is already cut and ready to go. I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls in here, but I do want to leave enough space for the topping. And on top of the mango, I'm adding some mango yogurt. This is such a delicious combination that all my kids love. Now I'm going to do my best to kind of spread this out and to add some color, I'm also gonna add just a few sprinkles on top. This makes it look so fun and festive and it doesn't take much time at all. Now on to some cucumbers. I'm using these baby cucumbers and I'm just going to give them a rough chop. And then I'm just going to add a couple of these to the lunchbox with some cherry tomatoes as well. To go along with the veggies, I'm going to add some ranch right in the center. And then you guys, because Griffin loves them, I'm also gonna be adding in some goldfish. And that brings me to the question of the day. I would love to know in the comments down below, what is your favorite quick and easy lunch idea? What kind of lunch do you make when you're short on time? To finish off this lunch, I'm also gonna throw in this chocolate peanut butter protein granola bar. And now moving on to a lunch for Mackenzie. And you guys, for this lunch, I'm kind of going with a breakfast for lunch theme. For her main course, I'm going to be making some mug omelets. This is so easy and quick, you're gonna love it. All I'm gonna do is take a microwave safe mug, that part is important, and to this mug, I'm gonna go ahead and crack in two eggs. Next, I'm going to add a splash of milk and a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave it just like this and you would have a delicious plain omelet. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add a few extra things to take it to the next level. I have some of that already cooked bacon in the fridge, so I'm just going to quickly take my kitchen scissors and chop it directly into the mug. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle on some cheese. And then finally, I'm also going to cut a few pieces of green onion to go in here as well. Now at this point, I'm going to add my mug into the microwave. I'm going to cook this for about 60 seconds and then I'm going to check it. Now you guys, if you see a lot of liquid left in your mug, then it's not quite ready. You're gonna to wanna to pop it back in the microwave for about 30 more seconds or so. And check it out, you guys. This omelet smells really good, and it literally only took two minutes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit of ketchup on here because I know Mackenzie loves ketchup with omelets or scrambled eggs. And then I can go ahead and move on to the fruit. Oh. 
Another quick and easy fruit that I love to add into lunches is canned pineapple. It's already cut up for me. All I have to do is drain it. I can add it into the lunch box. And to the pineapple section, I'm also going to add just a few blueberries. I'm really trying to use up all my blueberries before they go bad. And then because this is Mackenzie's lunch, I'm also going to get some cucumber slices in here. Cucumbers are her favorite. Now to go along with this lunch, I'm also going to throw in a little yogurt drink. And then for a special treat, I'm also going to throw in a gingerbread Lara bar. I'm so excited that Christmas is on the way and I can't wait to make lots of Christmas lunches this season. So if you're excited to see some holiday lunches, make sure you're subscribed. And there you have it guys, four quick and easy lunches. These literally came together so quick and most importantly, they are super tasty. I hope that these lunches inspired you to make some fun but quick lunches for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.